Olivia and today I'm going to be doing a review over Heartless by Marissa Meyer. Before I get started I wanted to show everybody what's going on here in Kansas City, Missouri and check it out. It is snowing if you guys can see. Let's focus out my window. Oh my gosh it's snowing. So cool it's the first time it's snowed here in Kansas City. It's been very uh, warm actually for November and the beginning of December so I was surprised when they said it was going to start snowing. It's not supposed to really stick I don't think. It's been snowing for a couple hours and it's not like on the roads or anything it's just on the grass so I don't think it's anything big but um, yeah and I also did want to mention that to Calera that I got one of those chocolate oranges and my husband ate half of it. I was really upset about it, so yeah. Which I will insert a picture of me eating it now. So anyway, to get back on track, I'm going to start off with telling you what Heartless is about. And it is about, it is a prequel to Alice in Wonderland and it is about the Queen of Hearts and how she became this evil, wicked queen, and it starts out with Kath, who is really into baking, and she, her parents are very controlling, and her mother wants her to become queen, so she basically forces her to get engaged to the King of Hearts. But during the ball where she's supposed to get engaged to the King, she meets Jess, who is the Joker for the King, and she ends up falling for him and before the ball she ends up having this dream about this guy with golden yellow eyes and a lemon tree grows in her room and she uses those lemons that grow in her room to make a lemon tart that she brings to the ball. Basically the story is about Kath and Jess the Joker and their relationship and Kath trying not to become queen but obviously we all know that she does become queen and it is her journey to becoming queen and how she goes from being the sweet girl to being the evil queen at the end. I thought that the writing in this was kind of confusing at times and I thought that there were some things that if you hadn't which, I mean, you'd have to be living under a rock to not know Alice in Wonderland or not have seen Alice in Wonderland, but if you are someone who has no idea who Alice in, what Alice in Wonderland is or never read the books or watched the movies, then I think there are some things that you would be confused about, like, for instance, the croquet game whenever they're playing with the flamingos. I don't think she describes them how they're playing the game very very in-depth. I do think there are some things that she could have elaborated more on. Overall, I gave this book a 3 out of 5 stars, where I thought that some things were interesting about it, and I thought that she did a good job starting out with Kath being this sweet girl to ending with her being an evil queen. I thought that the story was, the story was pretty boring for most of the book. I I had to force myself to read this book, which I'm very disappointed in, and I think I might have hyped it up a little bit too much in my own mind, and had a little bit more, had too much of an expectation for this book before, and therefore it disappointed me, and I need to stop doing that, because it seems like I've done that quite a bit, where I see a book, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to read that, and I hear everybody's reviews about it, and I'm like, oh my gosh, okay, I need to read this, and then I end up being disappointed because I feel like it's supposed to be this great book and then it's not that great. So I am a little disappointed. Now, now I do have to say that I am someone who tried to read the Lunar Chronicles multiple times and I didn't get into it. I couldn't get into it and I tried to read the first book multiple times and just couldn't read it. So if you're someone who likes the Lunar Chronicles, I'm sure that you're someone who would really love this book. And I don't think that you shouldn't give it a try because I have heard amazing things about this book. So you know, if you want to read this, I do encourage you to read it and give it a try because you might still really love it. It just wasn't something that was for me. As far as the character goes, I the characters go, I think that Marissa Meyer did an amazing job describing 
Kat's character and Jess' character and Haddis character. I think she did a really good job making images in your mind to portray these characters. I think she did a good job with the king. I liked how the king was this, like, happy-go-lucky guy and he, there, he didn't have a care in the world and then he would shut her away whenever he was scared and I just, I really loved how the king played into this. Usually the king is this powerful, power-hungry, you know, crazy guy and has power, but really Kath had power over the king and I really liked that. And then, <clears throat> but as far as like the relationship between Jess and Kath goes, I don't feel like she de developed it good enough for me to um, be invested in their relationship enough. I feel like she could have had more going as far as their relationship goes. I didn't feel connected or like, oh my gosh, I just love their relationship. Oh my so God. overall, I just thought this book was an okay book. And like I said, I don't think it is you shouldn't give it a try. I think it's one that you should give a try and either you're going to really like it or you're not going to really like it that much. It's a hit or miss kind of book, I think. So that is my review over Heartless by Marissa Meyer. If you liked this review, please like and subscribe. Also, before I end this video, I did want to show everybody this cover is beautiful. And I know that there are some white covers that came in the Owl Crate boxes that are really pretty too. And I don't know if the, ins the inside book looks the same, probably, most likely, but this is so cool. And I just love this, how they have the, in the, the cover and then they have the sleeve. I just think it's so pretty. And I was so surprised whenever I took the, the sleeve off and that was the cover. So. so, yeah, that is it for my review today. And if you liked this video, please like and subscribe. And I'm posting a video every day until the 25th of December, so sorry about my face overtaking your subscriptions feed, but I feel like this is a good opportunity for me to get on YouTube as much as I can, and right now is a great time to do it because I don't have a lot going on. So, so yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!